You know, while Prince George's County prosecutors pursue adult charges against those teens, we wanted to take a look at the approach to juvenile crime here in D.C. D.C. police reports young people make up 59 percent of recent carjacking arrests. Doya Gonzalez sat down with D.C.'s attorney general to find out what accountability actually looks like. When a young person is arrested for a crime, their case is heard here at family court. But the attorney general says the legal system isn't always the answer. When kids make mistakes, commit crimes, sometimes very serious crimes, we have to hold kids accountable by prosecuting kids. And that's what we do every day when we have sufficient evidence. The D.C. Attorney General's office is working with MPD to make that happen with a 24 hour hotline. Detectives call prosecutors to make sure they collect enough evidence that can be used in court. Oftentimes we ask the court to detain young people because we think it's in their interest and the interest of the public to do that. Sometimes kids need to be sat down, but we can't share the specifics of the case because it's not lawful to do so. While their crimes impact the community the same, Attorney General Brian Schwab says there is a difference between the juvenile justice system and the adult system. And one of the ways we commit to kids in a little bit of a different way than we commit to adults is we are committed to protecting the public safety and engaging in an effort to rehabilitate. That's where diversion programs like the alternative to court experience comes in. ACE is offered to low level offenders who get monitoring and family support. Our system has repeatedly failed them long before they show up in the criminal justice system. So of course parents and families play a role. Our support of parents and families is critical and holding parents and families accountable as well. What worries the AG the most? That offenders are getting younger and the crimes more serious. But he says the crime stats don't tell the entire story. We have about 50,000 young people between ages 10 and 17 in our city. Less than 500 are justice system involved. That's less than 1% of the children in our city. 99% of the kids in our city are doing extraordinary things, oftentimes against extraordinary odds. The attorney general and a number of advocates that I've spoken to say it's about changing the narrative around how we talk about juvenile crime, knowing these are children who need to be held accountable, but also in many cases deserve a second chance at rehabilitation. Outside of family court, Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.